Hello. Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a comfy. Let me undo my Pepsi Max. This is the new ASMR of the week. Well, no, we're, got, we're not got a garlic syrup this week. No, sometimes. but we do have them at home. We'll have cookies next week though. Oh, I can't wait for the cookies. Right. Are you actually going to bring some? Yeah, we'll do. You just have to remind me. <laughs> I can't wait. Right. Maybe we can take it in turns and bake something each week. What, do like a taste test? Yeah, that could be like our podcast thing. Go on then. We can do like a your, bake off. You'll bake something one week and I'll bake something the next week and then we can try it on the podcast. Game on. I'm very competitive when it comes to baking. Should we do that? Yeah, I'm down for that. I'll, we'll, you, but you bake cookies, I bake cookies, and we decide who's a better. Oh, it has to be a cookie every week? No, and then we'll move on to something right. else. And then we can do like brownies, like bring a brownie, yeah. bring a cookie. And then bring like, or we should both just bake for like the week, and then we have to choose who's a better. We can start off with that. Right. Yeah. Right, anyway. Do the anyway, <clears throat> welcome to episode 41 of Anything Goes with... Sanaya and Leah. Exactly. Didn't get interrupted this time. Oh, I know, last time it was funny though. I was editing <laughs> that podcast and I was like giggling to myself <laughs> trying to edit it. <laughs> I do laugh at us a lot more than I do other people. <laughs> See? And it's really rather embarrassing. I love it when I put podcasts up and you text me that, haha, that was funny. That was like, yeah, because I don't know that you like what reels you've made. So I like just, I just get tagged in them and I'm like, oh, that's quite good, well done. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, we're so funny. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, we're going to do, today, um, we've had some, we put a question box out that was like, worst things that have happened in prep, blah blah blah, because you all know, if you have prepped, you have days where you lose your head a bit. Oh, no, don't. Like, you're, <laughs> you're either hangry, you have low patience, or you just have zero cognitive function that nothing... Just is nothing functioning. functions. There's nothing going on in there sometimes. No, absolutely not. And there are things that matter more when you're in a prep <laughs> and when you're not in a prep. Like, yeah. for example, if someone steals your food, that's like... Disaster. I'm going to... Kill you. I'm going to kill you because you've stolen that one piece of chicken that I've accounted for, that I am already eating no food, <laughs> and you've already <laughs> stolen my food. You don't do that. You honestly don't even do that in an off-season for me. If you do that, I'm infuriated. You know what I, what really stresses me out a bit on prep, what I did once, is buying a drink thinking that it's a diet drink and then it's not. And then you drank it all and then you're literally like, ah! because you've just drank like a full... Like Georgia Cow's worth sprite. of... Yeah. I did that with the Sprite, to be fair, it wasn't too bad. It was like 70 calories. They're a lot lower now, um, aren't they? But even when, you know, you go to Starbucks and you're like, can I, can I have an Americano with sugar-free, sugar-free Yeah, syrup? you literally have to go, just to confirm that was sugar-free, right? Because it is so, yeah, honestly, like, I literally stare them out. I'm yeah. Like, I'm like, can I just check sugar-free? Yep, yeah, sugar-free, sugar-free. Yeah, because otherwise it's like an extra hundred cows. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't need that in my life. No, like that, it, they're just the things that you either do that are dumb shit, or that mean that like annoy you so we thought we'd ask you guys about some funny stories yeah. or any kind of like personal experience and we're just going to basically talk about them um just have a bit of fun so this is our like quick stop reaction reaction podcast part so should we get started do you want to yeah. start first i'm excited for this one so number one is <laughs> someone's quite funny <laughs> I feel like this has definitely happened to me. Oh, what? Posted an ad pic on Instagram with my nipple out. Didn't realise until my boyfriend pointed it out. <laughs> that is funny. You know what? <laughs> I can relate to that one. Yeah, but you don't even care when you're on prep. That's the thing. You're like, yeah, nipple, so what? <laughs> Especially when you're flat-chested like me, mate. I'm just an ironing board. And also... I definitely nip slipped on my first show because my bikini top was too big. So when I was hitting them side mm. poses, there's a reason why you didn't see a side pose picture <laughs> from me because I nip slipped hundreds of people. <laughs> but uh, you don't care, do no, you? No, you like, don't. Your head's too far gone at that point. Yeah. So you didn't give a shit. And also, like, I mean, I'm like it now, but you don't have enough time to actually dissect and think about what yeah. you're doing. Like, when you're deep into prep, like, I'm not talking just started. Let's just yeah. clarify that before we actually go on to this, is 
this is when you literally are at the extremes of prep when things genuinely start to mess with you yeah um <laughs> not when you've like one week into prep oh my god prep brain off <laughs> Yeah, okay, that is that does happen, doesn't went it? Went for a prep wee. No, you didn't. You just went for a wee because you woke up. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you're, like, one week into prep, <laughs> don't be using this test. Or even, like, eight weeks into a prep. Yeah. Just stop right there. Yeah. Just stop right there. That's not prep. That's just you. Let's be honest. It's only really the last six to eight weeks of prep that not prep, that, isn't it? Six to four. I'd say. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Because that's yeah. when you actually like feel preppy. Yeah, and like you can do a photo shoot or I feel like you should be able to do a photo shoot yeah. around eight weeks, yeah. six weeks. And then it's like if you do a photo shoot, you're literally cam photographing like you like gaunt. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So just to clarify that, because if I've seen it so many times where people say, I'm feeling so preppy today or I felt that that weight drop. Did you? Did you? You didn't. You're just a little bit hungry. You know when you can actually physically. You're feel so free? brutal sometimes. No, because sometimes it annoys me. <laughs> because like you don't, you don't even understand prep yet. Look, if you're struggling now and you're yeah. saying this now, yeah. wait till you get to four weeks out, and then you'll actually understand because it's like, do you know? Just like sometimes, like you, it's not. It's just, yeah. You, you just use in prep, and it also frustrates me when people use prep to be a dick. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that prep, doesn't. That doesn't. Blah kind of... blah. Like no, you're just untouched with your emotions, and you don't know how to control your emotions. You've decided to do this. Man up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but yeah, we're talking last. We'll do four to eight weeks. Okay. okay four just in to case eight you're weeks. ready early. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> you never know. Leah's like tonight is too much for Sabbath right <sighs> now. <laughs> Someone's wrote, woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. I just see it a lot though. No, I do get what you mean. Like I do honestly sometimes yeah. see it a lot when I'm like, babe, this yeah. ain't even it. This isn't even close. This, yeah, like, yeah. You, I have hope and I will pray for you because <laughs> you were, <laughs> you are not preppy yet. You are not preppy yet. Oh, but, but that you do get to the point though, especially when you're like getting your tan done and everyone's just fully naked. Like I remember the first time I was prepping and I was like, no, there's no way I'm standing in front of all these girls bent over with no clothes on by the time you're that deep into prep you do not give a flying flying toss, toss oh, about honestly, anyone seeing you naked we'll get it like to be fair even not in a prep prep and tanning this tanning situation i honestly thought we were going to be in private booths was not the yeah. case um it's just allowed me to really be in touch with like not giving a fuck about being <laughs> naked because honestly when you're in situations like that you you realize that no one else yeah. also gives a fuck. Yeah. Obviously, if you're the only naked person in the gym, <laughs> that's a little bit different. But, like, genuinely, like, yeah. for example, girls in their bikinis in a bodybuilder gym, no one thinks twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no one cares. But, yeah, like, nipple slips on, like, social media, that's rough. That is bad. That's rough. Cause Especially because you don't know who's print screen that. But also, if you go viral, <laughs> like, you know, it's only a nipple. Everyone's like free the nip. Yeah. So you can just base it off that and go free the nip. Yeah, that did happen to me actually once in one of my photos, and there was a bit of my nipple out, and I was like, I didn't realise until I posted it much later. But I feel like. Also, no one's really like, I'm not gonna lie, like, no. I scroll through social media and I don't. Unless it's. Unless, yeah, unless it's so obvious. I'm not like, but also when you've got a tan on, it, let's say for example, it's like a show day thing. It blends in. It blends, like my nipple's the same colour as my tan. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, <clears throat> you can't tell between the nipple or my skin. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just a nipple. Yeah, I'm just a giant just a, nipple. I'm just a dry ass nipple. Okay, right, moving on. Um, so this person isn't into bodybuilding, but she's an ollie lifter who right. I think diets obviously for her the competition shoes, yeah um she says two weeks out within her session she had a total blow up and tantrum in a gym uh, in a commercial gym like a meltdown over like a lift. just a meltdown over a lift because she was dieting i feel like that's so relatable because i feel like when you that is very relatable yeah, like when you diet and you are so low energy but you've got such high input yeah and 
you are so passionate about training and something yeah. doesn't go right because you know it's because you're dieting it's infuriating because you know that if you were like on the other end of things yeah and yeah. you can't control your emotions can you so you do just end up <laughs> crying or something yeah and when you're on prep and something goes wrong and you're like full on meltdown you're like, <gasps> this is the worst thing in the world you have to like run yourself to the toilet because you're like Shh. First day of my life, like, I need to speak to my coach, my boyfriend, and like, you're on the phone to about five different people, and you're like, <laughs> like, your bottom lip's going, and everyone else on the other end of the phone's like, fuck is she? <laughs> like, they're just like trying to be nice. I literally to you. know what you mean, they're like, it's okay, but it's like really not a problem at all. Yeah, like, it's like, but they understand because, you know, they've gone through it themselves or whatever, but then in reality, they're thinking, <clears throat> who's this loony? Is she all right? Like, she's she's literally having a meltdown off the phone over like dropping a pen. <laughs> honestly, I've had that before. I don't know about you, where it honestly takes that much energy out of me to pick something up from the floor. That dropping something on the floor when I'm sat comfortably at my desk or on the sofa whilst I'm yeah. eating, just dropping it. I'm like. I just find that I have no patience. Like things that normally I'm like so chilled about, it like boils my blood. Yeah. And I'm like, this is such an inconvenience right now. And it's like the tiniest thing. Yeah. Like, oh, why is my can all the way over there? <laughs> why did I put it over there? Reese, why did you not just hand it into my hand? Like, yeah. wh why did you have like that in a prep if I'm like really like struggling? I wouldn't express it because I know it's my own problem, but in my head I'm thinking, oh, I actually need to like, you know like before a set, you like really dial your mentally set. Prepare, like mentally prepared. Like like mentally prepared to leave to, forward to get the cup. <laughs> yeah, because you're like, I'm so comfy. You know like when you're like, you're so warm, the best way I can describe it is, you know when you're so warm and so comfy in bed, yeah. and you have to wee? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. that feeling, but consistently. Every, day. <laughs> yeah. For every single movement you have to. Or when, when you sat there and someone says your name and you're like, Ugh. If you're like, <laughs> when you're at the I'm gym just and my head around. Yeah, I have to. I have to even like even eye contact can be like draining because you're like, <laughs> I just literally. I don't even like sometimes like you just don't even want to like talk, like mm. just even. I talking. literally know exactly what you mean. Yeah. <sighs> but like. At the end of the day as well, like, I also make sure I put in an effort. Well, you have to put in an effort, otherwise you would literally be like... But in your head you're like... <laughs> you're like, that was rough. Mm. Right, next one. Oh, this is a good one. Went to work with my Udi and dressing gown on last year. I don't know if that was accidental or on purpose, but I really hope it was on purpose. Wait, hold on, say that again. Went to work with my Udi, which is like, you know, the long fluffy things with the yeah. hooks. And dressing gown on last year. First thing I want to know is, was it a nine to five? <laughs> Were you sat on a conference call with your UDL? on? What's the dress code for your work? <laughs> and did you get fired? <laughs> if you are self-employed, fully relate. Fully yeah. relate. Fully but relate. I on prep where you sat there with like 18 layers on. Fluffy oh. socks, hold up, doing your work. Doing your work. That was actually me. If I was on a call, I would be putting on hoodies <laughs> because mine's very casual wear anyway. Yeah. I'll be putting on t-shirts and hoodies and have a blanket over my legs. Yeah. But if I was at a nine to five and walked into work in an hoodie. <laughs> I really hope you did that. I want to see evidence. <laughs> I need photographic evidence of <sighs> what this was. But honestly, I can't hate because I sometimes do posing sessions in my teddy bear slippers. Oh great, everyone loves them. Where are they today? They are not, did I bring them last time? Yeah. Oh my god, did I forget? Yeah, I did forget. Damn, I ruined it. So, so I next technically time... was turning up to work in my <sighs> yeah, you were. slippers. Next time we're going to have teddy bear slippers and cookies. Oh, that's going to be a great day. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a great every thing. every session every session every podcast um filming will just have like a nice little homely edition yeah and you'll be hearing us go and then we're gonna have less views because we're like <laughs> shamming in their ears <laughs> that's oh. that's that's definitely like if that's a corporate job that, that is great that it's got to be a pajama day do you know what I mean because no one has the guts to turn up in an hoodie like what are you wearing under that <laughs> nothing. 
You wear knickers and that's about it. Well, when I was, I, I def I've got an Udi with pizzas on it. Um, and I definitely did a few calls last year with my pizza Udi on. I think, I think she is work. F I think, I think she works in a gym. So I'm assuming it's cold. <laughs> what is your job title? Let us know. So, um, next one. Oh, this would pee me off. Oh God, go this on. This has happened to me and I've actually lost it with one of my family members. It annoys me when they ask as well. I weighed out all of my chicken and rice. I know what you're going to say. And my sister ate half of it. <laughs> who on earth would do that to someone who is dieting? That's never happened to me. Oh, you know, even when they ask, oh, can I, can I just try that? No. No. You will That's not take my one grain of rice. That is exactly 150 <coughs> grams worth of chicken. Yeah. And I am already eating no food. You are not trying it. If you want okay. it, get me the chicken and I'll make it for you. But you are not yeah. having my, especially in a prep, you are not. Yeah. I do not share my food because yeah. I'm not yeah. eating a lot as is. Yeah, I get these clients all the time and they're like, I made all my food and then my partner ate half my prep. I'm like, oh, that would, that would boil my blood a bit, actually. Oh, in an off season, okay, like, if they want to try a little yeah, bit, I'm, I'm all, all right. Yeah. But when I'm dieting and I know that I have to, I already savour the small meal that <clears> I have, yeah. Also, why did your sister not ask? <laughs> if, if someone doesn't ask me and takes my food, I'm infuriated. Oh, God. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I've actually done it to Reese, where, like, he'll save, like, a specific amount of crumpets, and I'll decide to have a crumpet. So um... then he's, like, down a crumpet, and he gets infuriated. <laughs> but I get it, because I'd be pissed off if I yeah, expect to yeah. have that, and it's not there, and it's yeah. like, well, what else can I have now? Yeah, yeah. What were you yeah, thinking we were going to say? Um, I thought you were going to, yeah, no, I thought you were going to say when you're on prep and someone asks if they can try it and you're just like, <laughs> well, actually, in reality, it's a very normal question. Like, oh, can I try it with your food? Like, no, any normal is. No, I feel like... I don't I was, think that's normal. If I was in a bodybuilder and I was like out with my friends and they had a nice meal, I'd be like, oh, can I try it? Or do you want to try it? I feel like that's pretty normal. I don't think that's normal. Yeah. I think I'm just protective, though. Like, if you want it, get yeah. it. Oh, I always do that. If I go out with my family and stuff, I'm like, oh, can I try a bit? Or do you want a bit? Like, I always do that. I would never ask, oh, I can I have it. a bit? But if someone offered it to me, I'd go, oh, yeah, I would. Yeah. But I would never not go... With the cookies. I thing. would never, like, look at... <laughs> no, not with cookies. <laughs> but I would never look at someone's meal and eye it up and say, can I try a bit? Because then you're inclined to say yes, and I hate what, like, if... I now feel rude saying no, but I don't want to share with you. I don't want to share with you, but because you've asked now, you've put me in a predicament. Okay, if we go out for dinner, I won't no, ask you. No, you, you get your own goddamn meal. <laughs> if you say to me, can I, can I have a piece of this? I'll go, no, nope, pay for it. I'll be like, pay for it, I'm not giving you anything. But if I see you eye my food up, you bet I am going to make sure that you just keep eyeing it up. Because I will make sure that you don't get a single grain of rice on my plate. If you're eyeing my food up, like, I want a bit of that to try and hint to me. Oh. I'm taking that as a battle of... I'll remember that. Yeah. So just don't look at my food at all. You know what does happen to me on prep that is a bit irritating? You know when you, like, make something and it's like... So say I've got four portions of chicken and it's, like, 150 grams raw weight. But I'll cook all the chicken. So say I'm cooking four portions of chicken, right? So 600 grams raw weight. And then I put it all in one Tupperware. Mm -hmm. So I know that in that tub where there's four, four portions, portions of chicken. So every time I weigh it and I'll divide it by how four. many I've yeah. got left. But it will all be kept in the fridge in one tubware. And then I come one day and I'm like, this looks a bit less. Will weighs all his meat cooked. Listen, that's what happened to this girl. That's what <laughs> so happened to this girl. In and just taken some out. And then I'm like, that whole box is stuffed now because I don't know how much is left. You don't know that how much is, is left, yeah. Yeah. I do mine cooked as well. <clears throat> it is a lot easier doing it cooked. Okay, next. Um, is it mine or yours? Mine. Oh. No, yours. <laughs> this is really funny. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I 
first prep in 2021, I got into some random girl's car thinking it was my dad picking me up. <laughs> I don't even feel like that's prep. That's Is funny. that not just like, you've got the same car as me and I've just... <laughs> What Imagine you if you just got in the car and we're like, oh, and it's just a random <laughs> person. What? How, <laughs> how, like, I want to know how I would react if I walked into the car and I just saw a girl that's definitely not my dad. <laughs> but then I also want to know how that girl reacted. So, like, how would I react if some random ass girl sits in my car? I'm thinking I'm getting jumped. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's quite funny, isn't it? That's incredible. That's incredibly scary. That's like... I've never... I've That, yeah. That's funny. Easily done though on prep. But very easily done. But also... That's... I, I'm quite speechless with that. Walking into some random person's car. Mm. Like, imagine. If someone yeah, random just sat into your car. I think I was going to be like abducted or something. Yeah. I'd be freaking out. And I also would be free Like, I feel like we both look at each other <laughs> screaming at each other's face. I'm just trying to map out, like, what I would do in both of those scenarios. And I think both of them, I'd just scream. <laughs> I don't think that would oh. ever happen to me. Because I always look into the car window when I get into a car. Or I'll, like... Peter, Way, have yeah. you done it though when you add on this on prep actually where you go to get in a car and i'm like furiously unlocking the car i'm like why is my car not unlocking like and it's not even my car yeah yeah or like i've done it where i've gone to the gym in will's car and then got out and like tried to get into like my car mm -hmm. and it's not my car and i'm like fuck it's like it's Will's, I, i'm in will's car i'm not in my car and i'm trying to like get in this random car and then i just look like i'm trying to break into someone's car yeah yeah I've got quite a common car as well, Adi A1. Yeah. And not only is it the most furious thing to park in a multi story and have a memory of a goldfish and never know where you park. <laughs> that's literally beautiful. Honestly, the most furious, infuriating thing. But the worst thing is, is you thinking that's your car, like you just did. Yeah. And you're like, why is this not opening? And you're like consistently pressing yeah. the button. And then, like, you actually look into the car and you're like, shit. That's not a car. Now, if this car actually gets stolen or whatever, <laughs> I'm now a CCTV trying to enter this car and I'm in trouble. Oh, but the multi-story thing. So that had to have me. A, B and C on it as well. Not only the floor, but also A, B and C. Even not on prep though. Oh, just in general. Disaster. Yeah, I can't deal with it. Okay. Oh, Reese has done this before. Of what? Just reversing into a van. My car has sensors. <laughs> How does that even happen? I just think you... I feel like what happens is sometimes you just get in and you want to go, right? Too enthusiastic. Yeah, you just like, get me out of here, <laughs> I need to go, and you just go quick, right? You, yeah. In prep, you're just like, get me and get me out. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like with him, it was very much like, he just was not paying attention. He just thought he could reverse, turn, boom, and go. Was not the case. He actually went into a... Um, what are those things that are on like back of the lorries? You know, like those ca those big cans, um, and they hold a lot of stuff in them. I've got no idea. Oh, what are they called? Oh, just like storage things that like usually like get trapped, like this is containers, containers. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he reversed into that, but I feel like. I feel like in prep, yes, but I feel like just generally, if you're not... <laughs> generally me. Yeah, really if you're not like, <clears throat> if you're just a bit ditzy. Yeah, yeah. I Which like, most, I feel a lot of girls are a, bit, a little bit ditzy. I feel like most women just can't drive anywhere, won't I? I'm very sexist towards girl drivers and I'm a girl driver myself. And I'm not saying I'm the best driver, <laughs> but I do feel like men are better at driving. <laughs> um... But I also, I also feel like because of our height, sometimes it, like, if we don't adjust the mirrors, yeah, like, yeah, it can yeah. be quite difficult to actually, <clears throat> like, see if you're reversing into something. I get what you mean. But yeah, like, if those, you must have been driving fast, though, if those back sensors didn't sense, like, what was behind you. Because oh. they, they either were screaming at you, or they didn't have enough time to realise that there was something behind them, and didn't scream at you. You know, because like mm. sometimes if you go fast, it can't sense yeah, there's anything yeah. there. 
I was on prep once, this wasn't me, it was what someone else did to me, and I pulled up into a space, and you know when there's like other spaces where their back comes into your, the side of your car, there's like a space going this way, and then there's spaces going perpendicular yes. to it, and someone was reversing, and they reversed it, I was sat in the car, and they hit the car, reversed out, obviously didn't realise they hit it, and then reversed back and did the same thing again, I was just sat in my car like, Meh. Did you say something? I was too prepped at that point, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> Once you got out of the car, yes, but you know when you're just so far gone that you're like... I would have gotten out of the car and be like, stop fucking driving into my car! Stop it! Was, it was actually someone I was going to an event and it was someone that was in the same event as me I as well. I don't care. Stop it! Do you understand? You've caused damage to my car. Now I have to spend my time to go get that fixed. You've damaged my car. I was too car. preppy. Uh, I, I, that would make that would infuriate me even more. You're lucky to get me in an off season <laughs> if you flash my car. If I'm then dieting, you've hurt. Like that's cars are like so yeah, expensive. I, I don't get me wrong. Don't look at my alloys. But like anything else. <laughs> Don't look up my album. Anything else? Um, okay, next one. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. So there's this part two. She. Oh, wait. She missed. Hold on. Is this a part two from the last one? I think so. <clears throat> so this one basically is just like how her time of the month, she was on the time of the month. Yeah. So that she missed, like, she didn't f fulfill, like, a clean. So, like, let's say, like, she didn't get the same amount of reps within... Right. You know, like, tried to match. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to, like, explain it in terms of, like, hypertrophy rather than, like, body lifting. Okay. So let's say, for example, like, she didn't reach her goal. Like, we didn't reach a lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and she said that she launched her belt. She launched her belt into the wall so hard and she said she can provide us with a video. God. So she had that much of a tantrum. A, a gym tantrum. Through. <clears throat> you know what? I'm not going to say who, but I've actually witnessed a gym tantrum like that and I've never been so embarrassed to witness or be around that person. I'm not a gym life. tantrum person. Like, I just think when you're dieting or prepping or whatever, like, I'm like, meh, it is what it is. Like, as long as I've given it my best shot. I feel like I'm not that partial to like... That. I'm not, but I also feel like some people are. And honestly, this particular person is so... what Like, I would... I think everyone was in shock. Everyone they, was like... <laughs> it, it was more so like... Did that really just happen? <laughs> like, first of all, why? Second of all, was that really needed? Third of all, get a fucking grip. Like, it was very similar to that, yeah. but a literal slam of the stuff and walk away. Like, need a breather. Some people kind are very attached them. to their training. But I'm sorry, but that is like... You're putting everyone else around you in your mood as well. Like, I feel like if you're training with someone or if, like, there's people around you, especially if you're within this industry... Yeah. There's some level of like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I'd be too embarrassed to like do I, that. I'd be like, <laughs> I laugh about it. So for example, yesterday I did a RDL, haven't RDL properly in like yeah. like barbell RDL, and I did 115, and I felt really really happy about it. Like pretty going good. into it, I was pretty happy. Yeah. But I fucked up because I pushed my hips too far back or I actually lost my footing with my toes and lost my balance. Oh, so that I actually stepped <clears throat> back with the bar and I just had to drop the bar. Yeah. And that probably would infuriate a lot of people. But I just stood there and fuck sake, like that's yeah, so yeah, annoying. Yeah. Like yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I do get that people are attached to it. And you can get upset and frustrated, because I do. Yeah. But to like have a full gym shot. Full gym, like, do you know what I mean? I don't think I've ever had a full gym shot. I don't. Like, I feel like... I think I'm pretty chilled with training. I just, like, I go around and have fun. I do find it funny, though, watching it. <laughs> like, at the moment, like, at some points, I'm like... What is this? What is this? But I feel like if you were to throw your belt, especially within, like, the ollie lifting slash power lifting community, I feel like that's far more normal yeah i'm not really i've never really been around that so no. i'm not like i feel like that is more normal because they are like lift to lift yeah yeah whether we're more like 
the weight reps on and, as yeah, and, like small sort of reps such. or something feels a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I just I don't know. Maybe I'm like being really stereotypical. I know but, what like, you mean. I feel like for bodybuilding and hypertrophy, like. <clears throat> It's, it's, it's not so much about just the number that you lift up. No, yeah. it's about like the actual work upon it. So when you get frustrated about like not getting like that extra rep or like yeah. something just feels off, it's like end of the world. Oh my God, cry about it to someone who cares. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any more questions? Yeah, I do. Oh, oh wait, no, maybe I don't. I've got. Uh, you know what's the worst thing that happened to me? No, I don't. I'm all done. <clears throat> On my first prep, I was like not very clued up with bikinis and stuff like that. I just didn't really know that much about. What, what the crack was, yeah. yeah. So I had this bikini and um I had some of that um bikini bite. Stuff. Oh I might have told you the story before. And it was the glue one and it had a roll top lid on it and I was backstage, my coach wasn't at the show, my mum my parents were with me. Oh no, I already know what's gonna happen. I lifted up my bikini I was just about to go on stage, all my tan was on, ready to go. Um, probably about 20 minutes until I was getting on stage and I squeezed it and nothing was coming out so I squeezed it and oh, the, whole, the whole lid came off and all the bikini bite glue went down my leg and um, this the, is a horror story obviously. it was awful I was, I was at this point I was already shitting it because it was like my second ever show um, and the, the backstage um, tan woman was like so angry at me <laughs> and I was like mom and my mum was there backstage with me and she was like getting tissues like trying to dab me up and they basically had to take off the whole tan from my leg and re-tan my leg and put the glaze on before I went on quickly so don't use bikini bite oh that's one thing that I tell all of my girls yeah whatever you do do not use bikini bite. But I didn't know at the time. I was so like oblivious. I was like, people still use it. This. People do still use it, and a lot of people do sell it. But I promise you now, out of experience, bikini bite is shit. <laughs> it is so shit because it's glue, and you're already tacky. Yeah. It doesn't even <laughs> stick. And you don't want a disaster with glue going down your leg no. when you tan up. No. And also, tanning people, if they see that you've used bikini bite to stick your bikini down. They just get infuriated because yeah. they can't re they can't reapply the tan. So yeah. let's say for example you apply that like a strip of like bikini, yeah. like bikini by on, and you've placed it the wrong way, placed like you just placed it wrong. You now need to like like you did strip all that tan yeah. off and do it again, which just calls for so that uneven tan. Sort. That would oh, I I wouldn't be able to. That would I'd struggle with that. Yeah, like, I'd really struggle with that. But also if you're having to tape your bikini down that much where you have to use excessive yeah. amounts you've probably not got the right size <clears throat> yeah definitely which i did, again didn't realize at the time because i was like yeah. quite new to bodybuilding but this is why we educate this is why we educate but no i don't think i've had any major i feel like a lot of the ones that like have been brought up yeah are quite funny or you'll do like random stuff i feel like everyone does this on prep where you like can't find your car keys anywhere and then realise your car keys are in the fridge. Or like, I did, I did that all the time on prep. Or like, I'd go to Wait, find something. Wait, hold on, backtrack. How did they get in the fridge? So I was like going to put something in the fridge, like milk or whatever, or my meal, and then I'd just like put the wrong thing in the fridge, or then like something out of the fridge would end up in the cupboard or someplace random. So you, I just end up like miss putting everything in the right place. No, that I just think I just think time. you're a little bit. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't think that was prep. I don't do it now. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like <clears throat> I just feel like you do do just like stupid, stupid things. things. Like I couldn't even like I couldn't even list what I did, but like there were probably a few things that I did that you just go a bit Delulu, don't I just can't speak properly. Will always used to take the piss out of me because I was like, all my words would come out like the wrong way around and like backwards. Yeah. Like I just couldn't physically string us, which is actually really mess messed up when you think about it. Like the yeah. fact that you died in so much that you can't put a sentence together. But I also think you've got to remember a lot of people who are lean don't do as much output yeah. as we would do True. anyway. Like mentally, business wise. Exactly. That sort of thing um so like to be fair like i can relate with that in any type of situation that i'm in i genuinely stutter and 
can't get my words yeah. out a lot of the time as is anyway. I think it's because we talk a lot for our jobs. It's like you spend so much time like thinking and talking, then it's like you get to the point where you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> no, we got to like a point where I'm doing like a posing event, and me and Amy are like, we'll say like hands for toes. Yeah. And we'll say quad to del. We're like. Wait, what? What did we just what say? What did we just say? And I also feel like that's why like, I always stutter more if, if I'm like talking at a less, <clears throat> talking like non business. Yeah. Because I put all of my brain power into the business aspect of speaking. Yeah. But when I speak to Reese or like you at the gym or like other people at the gym, I'm my brain is trying to relax. Yeah. And it just I'm doesn't really say mean. anything. But when I'm then trying to speak proper, I'm like, I can. <laughs> But then it's like, I do it so much, because my job is literally to speak, yeah. that like, when it comes to like, not having to actually put too much like, mental power into a conversation, I'm like, I actually don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Me like, every day. Yeah. But yeah, no, that was quite good. I enjoyed that one. I love these ones. So next week, we will put up another question box um, for next week's topic. When we think of one. When we think of one. Um, but yeah, I feel like these are fun. These are just more ways to kind of like bring you guys into the podcast and stuff. And hopefully you enjoy them. So that wraps that up. That does. If you are mm. on YouTube, please subscribe. If you are on Spotify, please give us a review. Five star only, otherwise, don't review us <laughs> at all. Um, please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one. Bye. Peace.